incredible episode at Atlanta Bread in Virginia Beach. I have my special guest with me again, Catherine Gutier, and we are right now in one of the dining rooms at Atlanta Bread, and we're going to talk to Catherine a little bit more about the different parties and events here that you can have here. So Catherine, tell me a little bit about this space and what types of events um, you can hold here at Atlanta Bread. Well, throughout the day, this is obviously just our regular dining room for our guests to come and have breakfast, lunch, dinner, but we also use it for events if you know, somebody wants to do a fundraiser or do the networking event like we did in August or the one that's coming up in November. And we usually will put up some kind of sign for our guests to know that this side is closed off. And it really, even though it's an open space, it really seems like a private space. It's not too loud over here with everything going on over there. And the guests that are coming in and eating over there don't seem to be bothered. It's really worked out. It's worked out really well. We've done something for the United Way where they were doing an awareness evening to uh, talk about some of the different things that the United Way does. We had a wine um, tasting and some food put out. We did something called Women, Wine, and Chocolate. I remember that August. event. I was here then. <laughs> and that was for all local business women and just having a networking opportunity for them to just talk about their own businesses amongst themselves. It was a great turnout, a lot of fun. We had a beautiful display of food off of our catering menu here. We had wine, we had beer, and it was um, and it was chocolate. Great. I remember we had the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> and yeah, it melts in your mouth, white chocolate, milk chocolate. Yeah. It was wonderful. We're doing something again in November, another wine tasting, a taste of autumn. And that again will be a networking opportunity for business or for men and women this time, not just geared towards women. And I'm doing something on Friday evening for a friend of mine who is doing I think it's a fundraiser as well, so we'll just shut down this side of the restaurant. And it's kind of like being in your dining room. We can turn on mm -hmm. the fireplace, we get nice flowers out, mm -hmm. and we still can use that other side and keep business going. Okay. So it works out really well. So I mean, this is a nice location with the fireplace and everything. You can see how casual it is. You can bring your guests in and really have a relaxed time, almost like you're in your own living room or your own den. Um, now tell us a little bit about the food for this and the setup for um, if somebody can customize the menu for an event like that if they want. For the Taste of Autumn, or actually mm -hmm. for any of them. Well really we just work off the menu that we have for Atlanta Bread, but we can do okay. a beautiful vegetable presentation and the little sandwiches. We can do wraps if somebody wants to do wraps. We have the soups and the pastas. Um, so I just basically kind of do it. I had a birthday party here mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago where she wanted to do pizza. So I had all the salads. And sandwiches out ahead of time and we just brought the pizzas out as our guests walked in mm -hmm. and had those hot. We basically put all the food around the table, let people mingle and they have all this area to just sit and chat. Um, had the wine back over there, I think for the one that we're doing uh, for November 3rd. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be wine tasting so I will have one of the local distributors here, Jen. She's going to pair wines with the foods that we're mm -hmm. serving and let people come up and talk to her a little bit and she'll tell them what goes well with what. She has a little sheet made up for them so they can make notes if they want to, you know, later purchase this wine. You are speaking the tipsy culinary queen's language with the wine and food tasting. That's what we it's do on the blog. Thing too. Um, yeah, it's something that's really good because people are very intimidated about what to pair with sure. what. You know, what wine goes with what when they go into a wine store, they have no idea what you know, the reds, the whites, there's so much to choose from. Right. So to have someone on location that's actually going to tell you, you know, this dish would go good with this, that really makes a big difference. Well, and Jen is great because she really keeps it uh, reasonable. She doesn't uh -huh. go for overpriced wines or, you know, uh -huh. it's $8 a bottle for some of these wines. And unusual wines. And this time we're doing, I think we're doing five or six different wines uh -huh. from different parts of the world. Uh -huh. One from South that. Africa, we have Australia, I think we maybe have Chile in there, California, French. Uh, we thought it'd be kind of fun just to do a tour of the world of these different wines. Well, I'm ready so. for happy hour. I don't know about you, it's happy hour somewhere in the it's world. It's always happy hour somewhere. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it, folks. Atlanta Bread is a great place to have your events, your parties, your wine tastings, your food, your chocolate, whatever it is that you desire. Thanks for tuning in to this edible episode. I'm the Tipsy Culinary Queen, my guest, Catherine Gutier. And stay tuned for more, um, more edible episodes coming to you soon.